Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 October number 2024. I am going to do the presentation task which is task 4. All other tasks are done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. You are going to create a short presentation. Create a presentation of 8 slides using the file climate.rtf. So I will be using Microsoft PowerPoint. Open a new PowerPoint presentation. Go to new slide. In order to import the required file, go to slides from outline. Select your folder. The file name is climate. So select climate. So you got all the slides. There will be a blank slide here. You can delete that. So now we have eight slides. Unless instructed, all the slides must display a title and a bulleted list. Place in the header automated slide numbers right aligned. Place in the footer your name, sender number and candidate number. So in order to do that, let's create a master slide. Go to view, slide master. Select the topmost slide to make the changes. You can remove the three placeholders given here and insert our own placeholders for the requirements. So we have to insert the slide number right aligned in the header and details in the candidate details in the footer. So let's insert a text box, insert text box here. Again go to insert. You can see here slide number. Slide number is shown as a hash symbol. Click on slide number. So slide number is inserted. Now again insert a text, insert another text box, draw a text box in the footer or at the bottom of the slide, give your candidate name, center number and candidate number. So the master slide is done, you can close the slide master, so go to view, normal. So the slide number and candidate details will be shown on all slides. On the slide with the title, Consequences of Global Warming, select the five bulleted items after the text and format them to look like this. So the sixth slide, you select the sixth slide which has the title. Now you have to select the five bullet points under this heading. And it has to look like this. The bullets has to be indented and the bullet symbol is a dash here. And the text is italic. So you can select the bullets. You can see here indentation, increase list level, click on this once more. Now let's change the bullet symbol. You can go to bullets and numbering. Customize. You can select the dash here. Give OK. And then Okay, and it should be italic. So you can see it is given as required by the question. Now, next one, delete the slides with the titles Organic Farming and Carbon Sinks. So you can see slide. 3 and 4 has to be deleted. So, 
selected the slides. Now we have six slides. Next, use the data in emissions.csv to create a pie chart to show the emissions for each sector for the year 2020 only. So this is the emissions file. So these are the economic sectors. We need to find create a pie chart for the year 2020. So select the economic sectors. Also select the data in 2020. Press Ctrl key and select. Now go to insert pie chart. Label the chart with the title Global Emissions by Economic Sector. So this is the chart title. You have to give the chart title Global Emissions by Economic Sector. Format the chart to display only the economic sector names and percentages as chart sector labels. Position these labels outside each chart sector. So you can click on data labels. Go for more options. In more options, remove value. We have to show only the category name and the percentage and scroll down, it has to be at the outside end. So it can give outside end. And there should be no legend. You can click here, remove the legend. Make sure nothing is overlapped. You can bring this here so that it does not get overlapped with the title. Enhance the chart display by pulling out only agriculture, forestry and other land use from the other chart sectors. So this is the sector for agriculture, forestry. Select the sector, select it once more so that only the required sector will be selected. Now you can just pull it out a little bit to give an enhancing look. Place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title Industry Sources. So it should be placed to the left of the bullets. So copy the chart. So this is Industry Sources. Move the bullets to the right side so that we can paste the chart on the left. No words, are, no words on the chart are split. All the data and labels are fully visible. Chart and its contents do not overlap. So now all of these are visible. Place a sun shape on the slide with the title Consequences of Global Warming. Warming. Position this to the right of the five bulleted items. It should look like this. So you have to insert the sun shape from shapes. Go to insert shapes. You can see the sun shape here. You can insert the shape here. Make it black color, fill with black color. 
resize the sun shape so that it has a height and width of 4 centimeters. So right click, size and position. Height should be 4 and width should be 4. Edit this shape so that when clicked, the slide with the title Greenhouse Gas Emission is displayed. So we need to create a hyperlink from this symbol. So right click, link, place in this document, select the slide, required slide. Place in your evidence a screenshot showing the link from the shape to the correct slide. So you can take the screenshot of this window. And place it in your evidence document. This is step 29 evidence. Save the presentation. Print the full presentation as handouts in portrait orientation with two slides to the page. So in order to print the presentation, you go to file, print. Now the format is full page slides. You have to make sure it is two slides per page. So select two slides per page. Also make sure your name, candidate details are shown on the header or footer for the requirement of the exam. So go to edit header and footer. In the header, you can give your name, center number and candidate number. So it will be shown on the header. Now it can be printed. Task 5 is printing the evidence document. You can print the completed evidence document. So this is the end of the task. The word document or the document production when the database are already uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.